Hi viewers, praise the Lord. Once again, welcome to our brief reflection. And uh, today we are continuing from 2 Chronicles 20, verse 13 to 17, trusting in God's goodness. The goodness of the Lord takes us through storms, situations, and uh, turbulent moments that we may face in our lives. And God remains God with us. King Jehoshaphat, when surrounded by this mighty army, we see that he called upon the people to turn to God through prayer. In verse 13 all the way to 17, we will look at a few things. And so I will read verse 13. Verse 13 says, As all the men of Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones, wives, and children, the Spirit of the Lord came upon one of them, one of the men standing there. His name was Jahaziel, son of Zachariah, son of Benaiah, son of Jaziel, son of Metaniah, a Levite who was a descendant of Asaph. He said, verse 15, Listen, all you people of Judah and Jerusalem. Listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. My friend, as we trust in God's goodness, though facing so many battles in your life, it is good to ask yourself, whose battles are you fighting? These people were surrounded. They felt overwhelmed, but they had this intervention where the Spirit of God came upon this one person, the man who was amongst them, and uh, his name is Jahaziel, and the Spirit of the Lord coming upon him helped him to speak to the community, to the entire team, that do not be afraid, do not be discouraged by this mighty army, for the battle is not yours, the battle is the Lord's. I don't know what kind of battles you are facing. I want to encourage you. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, he is able to walk with you, to lift you. The secret is this. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Know that the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. What are you supposed to do? Take up your position. Stand firm all the way in verse 17. Take up your position. Stand firm and see the deliverance of the Lord because the Lord will give you uh, his deliverance. And so, friends, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. The Lord will carry you through. And so, this day as you watch, as you listen, as you follow this clip, I don't know what kind of battles you are facing. Secret is this, don't fear, don't be afraid. The battle is not yours, the battle is the Lord's. Take up your position. Where are you standing? What are you doing? Whom have you turned to? Turn to God, he's able to fight your battles. Who are you calling upon? Call upon the Lord. He's able to fight your battles. Let us stand firm. I want to say this. A time like now, the entire globe, we are challenged by a mighty army called coronavirus. And there is a temptation of walking in fear, living in discouragement, living with a lot of disappointment. Let us turn to God. Let us know the battle is not ours. The battle is the Lord's. He will fight for us. I've just mentioned one, but I know you could be facing many, many other kind of battles. Don't be afraid. Don't fear. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Take up your position. Stand firm and you'll see the deliverance of the Lord. God bless you and give you his victory. God bless you and watch over you. Let us turn to him in prayer. Let us know that he's speaking to us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Amen.